When it comes to autumn fashion, petites can look amazing in a lot of different autumn staples. Whether that is shorter or longer, whether these silhouettes are slimmer or more oversized, we can wear them all. The key is knowing what details to look for when we're choosing out our autumn staples. And step two is knowing how to wear them so that it enhances the petite frame. And like I always say, it's not about wanting to wear, you know, big heels, to make us look like a tall girl, but rather thinking about the silhouette and clothing that really suits the petite frame itself. And then navigating the clothes out there, which are usually designed for average or taller women, and styling them so that it works for us. The format of this video is that I'm gonna take different wardrobe staples, like a blazer, talk about what to look for, and then how you can style it as a petite. I'm bringing you these style tips today in partnership with Petite Studio. So I'll be styling some of their clothing pieces designed for petites and then combining that with lots of examples from my wardrobe as well. For the first piece, let's talk about the oversized blazer, one of my favorite wardrobe pieces because I think it works for my style, but a lot of the styles don't really work for my body type. I don't like advice that just says, you know, just don't wear that item because for a lot of people, oversized blazers might really work for your style, but maybe not your body frame like me. So this is how to make things work. First up, look for details and collars that are smaller and more fitted. Smaller is easy. Look for lapels that are smaller as opposed to larger. Make sure that they kind of frame the body as opposed to being so big that it just overwhelms the upper body. For this jacket, do you see how the lapels are falling over the body? I mean, and she's tall, so on someone petite, that just completely, I think, overwhelms the shape more than the fact that it's oversized or longer. When people recommend things for petites, they usually just say things like, don't wear oversized blazers, but honestly, sometimes little changes to these details can make it work. When it comes to buttons and pockets, make sure that they're not too low on the body. Even if it's an oversized blazer, if the buttons and pockets sit a little bit higher, it makes it so much more petite friendly than if they work halfway down the leg. Something else that makes a difference to an oversized blazer is looking at the weight of the blazer. So the lighter you go, the more balanced it'll be. Whereas the chunkier you go, the more practical but more oversized it will look. If you're looking for an oversized blazer, I think another good idea is to find ones with small patterns and print on them. Sometimes it can be really subtle in like a herringbone or tweed or gingham or something like that, but small patterns will make it feel better for petites and you wanna avoid anything with those very large plaid patterns or anything with large patterns. Let's talk styling for the oversized blazer. A lot of very chic model of duty or like Scandinavian girls, I see them in big blazer and then large oversized wide leg pants and it looks really good. On a petite, I think the oversized blazer looks amazing when the inside pieces are slightly closer to the body. So there's more of a contrast in the shape worn. So slim on the inside, big oversized blazer. I think that looks really natural. There are so many combinations to play with here, whether that is like with a crop top and a longer skirt, whether that's with the top and trousers. I also love wearing the blazer with color blocking to help define the body when wearing something oversized. As you'll see, I have white on top, dark on the bottom. And I've gone really extreme here. Just to get the point across, I've gone very cropped. But even if it was a little bit longer, what we're doing here is that we're defining where the torso is, where the legs are. It just gives our outfit a lot more definition and proportion as opposed to if everything just blended together. Depending on your preferred contrast, you also don't have to go like black and white. You can also just do like two slightly different colors to break it up. Something that I recommend for every petite wardrobe are fitted knits for autumn and winter. So autumn fashion means a lot of layering. So layering for style and then layering for function as the weather gets cooler. So more bulk. So to balance that, I find it really flattering when the inner pieces are very fitted because even if you're wearing jackets over the top, just having that definition like on the neckline, showing through on the sleeves, like a little sliver of it when you're wearing your jacket open. It does wonders in making an outfit more flattering for a petite. If I compare this to like an oversized t-shirt on the inside or a looser knit, it really makes a huge difference when layering. If you want to know where to shop for these, I feel like Uniqlo is a good place to start. Um, the extra fine merino, I've always had very good luck with these. And then they have all these cotton and other wool versions, even like heat tech, to be honest. 
Some of them are very fitted and they do the job as well. If you want to go fancier, we've got Bassarange and then we've also got Cezanne. They have so many merino fitted lightweight knits and all of them work and they've got some cute little buttons and accents as well. I do also have this one which is black with a zip. This one is from Petit Studio but it's quite fitted. It's got that zip that kind of defines the neckline because it's higher necked and it kind of does what I was saying about creating that very fitted base when you put jackets over the top. Let's take a break here and I want to share with you some of my top picks from Petit Studio's Autumn Collection. So if you don't know already, Petit Studio is a New York based brand and they specialize in clothing for petites. They do some incredible pieces, especially for autumn and winter. And here are my top picks. My favorite pick is not surprisingly the Collins sweater, which is what I'm wearing right now. So I like this one because it's made from 100% merino wool. So right now I'm just wearing it on my bare skin and it feels very comfortable. I often feel like the sweaters that suits petites have more rounded details. So I love that you've got this rounded detailing around the face and it kind of just draws the eye upwards in an outfit. It also comes in a blue color and this one has really fun red and green accents, making it perfect for like the holidays, um, but also just if you have more colorful style. Speaking of sweaters, we also have this one. This is the Paisley Mohair sweater. This will be great to transition from autumn into winter as well because it really is very warm. Very pretty light blue color. It is a soft material, so you're not going to get that really scratchy feeling of mohair. It is quite soft. A piece that really stands out to me are the Andre pants. I'm showing it here in both brown and black, and this is a very petite friendly pants. So I haven't tailored it, I haven't adjusted it. While I appreciate that it's the perfect length, I think adjusting length is super easy to do. But the thing I like about these is that the shape of it is also very petite friendly. It just means that when I'm wearing those bulkier knitwear pieces and jackets and coats, the pant will help balance those silhouettes out. I have tried a lot of pants from Petit Studio and I do think that these are probably the best pair they've come out with because it's that perfect weight for autumn going into winter. It's got a good amount of drape, it's got a good shape and it just ticks all the boxes. For outerwear, we've also got some options. So if you're looking for an oversized blazer but you want the blazer to still fit, we've got the Vito wool blazer. First thing first, this is 100% wool and it's a slightly thicker wool. So it's quite sturdy, it'll keep you very warm and it's not like a light and flimsy material. When I wear this blazer in the looks, even though it is oversized, I don't feel like I'm drowning too much in the jacket and I think that it still works even as a petite. This is my jacket pick because I just love the material and I love the shape. And then my short jacket pick is the Laura jacket in brown. Super cropped, very cute collar design. It has double zips so you can wear it closed, open, or like half done up as well. This is truly a cropped jacket. So it's not like when it's marketed to be cropped and it ends up being full length. This is actually going to be cropped on us. So I do love it for the shape. I'll link to all these pieces I'm trying on from Petit Studio down below. They're currently running their 25% off discount. So I'll put the information for that down below as well. Thank you to Petit Studio for working with me and let's get back to the video. One of my favorite kind of topics that I could talk about forever is knitwear. I love knitwear. I also knit, so I'm constantly surrounded by different like yarns and knits all the time. So let me talk about what works best for petite. When it comes to sweaters, what I'm usually looking for is something that isn't too long because it makes it so much easier to tuck in and it makes it more of an effortless, bust-free kind of piece, which is always what I'm looking for in my wardrobe. And then I also avoid things that are very long and structured. These are the worst because the structured shape means that it doesn't drape well once you tuck it in and it always looks a little bit awkward when I try to shorten it by tucking it in. So other details I like to look for in knitwear is making sure that the neckline, wrist, and hem is more defined. So it tapers in a little bit or it's more fitted. This does wonders in knitwear, where even if the body is oversized and boxy, as long as it does these things, it will still feel right when I'm wearing it. For petites, knitwear also looks a bit better when it's like light to medium weight and not super, super bulky. But if you love that bulky, very cozy vibe, here is my way around it. You wanna look for texture. So you wanna look for those mohair alpaca textures that gives the sweater more volume, but it doesn't make it too structured and bulky. I knit a lot, so I kind of observe 
the kind of textures that different materials create. And with those mohair, um, alpaca kind of blends, they give you that cozy look without the sweater being too chunky or bulky. When I style these knitwear pieces, I do always pretty much tuck them in. So I'll do a half tuck at the front if it's bulkier. And then if it's super lightweight or even medium weight, sometimes I would just tuck the whole thing. It just depends on the bottom and how thick the knitwear piece is. For the bottom half, I always try to create some balance. So if it's a big knit, I'll try to go for a slightly slimmer or slimmer wide leg pant but nothing too oversized or too wide. For skirts, I like when it's just a little bit closer to the body as opposed to to a line. The theme here is that I like to look for skirts and bottoms with a bit of drape to it. So nothing too structured because that will make the outfit really boxy. When it has a little bit of drape or movement or fluidity, it really helps make those knits look really good on petite. Even with outerwear, I think it looks nice with outerwear that has um, a lighter, more draped feel. It makes it so much more flattering. A lot of my coat recommendations will kind of be similar to what I talked about for jackets. If you're looking for a longer coat, whether that is a trench coat for autumn or a wool coat for winter, these are the details that I like to look for. Here are two long coats side by side, and even though they're both long, the one with this like waterfall um, collar detail, these coats, in my opinion, always drowns a petite frame. I am swimming in this type of neckline. And then in contrast, even if a the coat is really long, if it has smaller collar details or smaller neckline, smaller details, it will actually work really well for a petite. So when people say don't wear long coats, don't wear like long things, I don't think that's true because there are so many details that can affect how that long piece looks on us. It's just that long things are sometimes combined with these larger details which can make it feel off. But when you find the long things with the smaller details, it will actually work very well. I'm obsessed with my check coat. Um, it's the coat that you see me wear in I feel like most of the videos but I've also tried on other check coats and they have not worked. So Isabel Morant coat, beautiful on the website, absolutely dreadful on me just because um, it keeps its shape. So when I'm wearing it, it looks like a rectangle because of how thick and structured this material is. And then it's got a bigger plaid pattern. So compared to my little grid pattern, it's too overwhelming. The other major thing for coats is that you want to look at the fabric and how it moves. So ideally for petite, you want something that drapes and moves with the body as opposed to something very thick and structured. The other thing I like is a belt with an oversized coat because it just gives me more versatility I can cinch the coat in a little bit at the waist when I want to. I can let that go and have it be very straight when I'm feeling in the mood for that. This is small but it just adds a nice versatility to the coat and it allows me to create like different silhouettes with that one coat I own. So when it comes to styling, a lot of the things I would wear with a coat, I've kind of touched on already. I love accessorizing the top half of the outfit more. So adding in the hat, uh, maybe doing my hair in a way where it's like shorter and not so long. I like necklaces, I like shoulder bags, anything on this top half, you know, scarves. They are all gray in balancing out the length of a coat. Color blocking, I always do when wearing a long coat. Um, it's something that's very natural for my style, so I do it without even thinking about it. And then if I'm ever wearing an oversized coat, I like to keep all the other pieces not oversized. So it can be like relaxed or more fitted, but basically I don't want too much volume in any other piece. So let me clarify. A lot of my jackets are very oversized, but almost all of my inner pieces tend to be um, relaxed or fitted to balance out those jackets that I know I'll be combining with my other clothes. By keeping the oversize mostly in the jackets and in the knitwear, it kind of gives my wardrobe a lot of ease because I know the kind of silhouettes that I just gravitate towards. When I was kind of like writing down notes um, to make today's video, I completely forgot about bottoms, which is crazy because I think this is a key part of petite dressing. So for my bottoms, let's talk about skirts and then trousers. For all of my bottoms because of the way I dress because I know I like oversized coats because I like a chunkier knit I always like to keep my bottoms a little bit closer to the body I used to buy a lot of very wide leg pants or big a-line skirts and then realized I had nothing to pair with the outfits I was wearing and it's because my top half is oversized I now know to keep the bottom half medium to slimmer so my idea of medium to slimmer is something like these pants this is a high-waisted pant and it's a straight 
leg. This is kind of the perfect shape for me where it feels lengthening and balanced, but it still feels relaxed as well. It has a nice amount of movement and drape, and that helps to lengthen the leg in an outfit. I think pants look best when they're either straight or they taper in at the bottom, but I usually don't like a flare because when this bottom area draws too much attention, it makes me feel like I am pulled down a little bit and it creates a more overwhelming shape in the outfit. I think bottoms definitely look the best when there's a little bit of movement and drape to it as opposed to very shaped and structured. So the same silhouette of pants, if it's very structured, my legs will definitely look a little bit shorter. This is probably the most important thing when you're looking for pants. Try to go for something with a little bit of movement to them, not too heavy in fabric. For skirts, I'm gonna talk about autumn winter skirts because obviously like bias skirts, um, like cotton skirts, they all look really good. For autumn winter, I like my Cezanne nail skirt. So this is like more fitted, especially in the navy or in like a darker color. It's so versatile. So I love that it's fitted around the hips. It kind of flares out a little bit. It's the perfect balance between comfort and style. When it comes to styling, all of this starts to make sense. In the autumn, we tend to think of larger coats, larger jackets, cozier knitwear, and the skirts and pants here perfectly balance out these shapes. Whereas if we chose really statement silhouette here, it can make it a little bit harder to wear. Very quickly, I'm just gonna touch on shoes. For shoes, the only thing that really bothers me in petite dressing is when a boot or a shoe cuts off the leg in an unflattering way. So for example, I'm wearing an ankle boot and I'm wearing a skirt. Let's just say there's like a little bit of space there. I find this a little bit unflattering and I'll usually try to cover it up. So sometimes that can mean going for a longer sock so that it bridges that gap. Or it can mean going for a higher boot. When there is just that little sliver of skin, I find it to kind of cut off the leg in an unflattering way. The good news is that if this bothers you, it's such an easy fix with just a sock or tight. The other thing I'm going to be very honest about is that shoes can make or break the outfit. So I'm always trying to create seamlessness from leg to shoe. This can mean going for the same color so it ties in. This can mean creating like continuity so there are no breaks, but I do pay a lot of attention here, especially to do with color to just elongate the leg a little bit. I am also always on the lookout for comfortable shoes for the everyday that have a little block heel that I can still walk in because these are so flattering. Oftentimes, if you find the right one, they're really comfortable and they work for my lifestyle even though I walk a lot. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful. I'm always trying to learn more style tips for petites because I feel very passionately that when we start dressing just to look tall and when we really think about our own body type and the things that can enhance us, it just changes our outfits for the better. I would love for you to go give this video a like, check out some of my other petite videos above and I'll see you next week for something new. Bye.